Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video. On one of my recent 500 mile trips, I encountered something that I thought would interest the community. It involves the new 2018 Nissan Leaf and its charging rate. A lot of people refer to rapid gate. It kind of gave me a first hand look about how bad things can actually be in real world driving with the Nissan Leaf. It was fairly hot weather. A short time after I had started my charge session, the Nissan had pulled up and they had started theirs. As I was leaving, out of curiosity, I wanted to check just exactly what the charging rate was. When I pull in here, uh, see if I can identify which charger is which. See, there's a leaf there that's not actually charging. So let's let's see if I can tell whether or not this is a. Well, this charger looks like it's up. Now that's what I call ironic. All right, my my charge rates slowed, but I just wanted to show this this is the the new leaf and with these hot temperatures i think this is pretty much what you can expect right now um you know it's a really really slow charging rate and that's not that's not what owners should have been expecting with their cars i i think i think nissan really did them a disservice at this point so anyway i have more than enough to, to get where i need to go so i'm gonna head out Based on what I saw on the screen, that charging rate was extremely low. Now, I had for a while suspected that maybe the Nissan Leaf uh, driver was just stopping and waiting for their battery to cool off. But like I said, I believe it's because power was off at the facility. But either way, even having sat for as long as it did, after hooking up, they were still seeing that slowed charging rate. I'm guessing solely due to heat. Now, it should be an indicator for people in a hot climate of what they expect because that was a charging rate of only about 15 to 20 kilowatts. To me, this is very bad. Uh, Nissan should have never programmed the battery to do what it does. And if they felt that it was going to degrade based on the heat, they should have found some other way of handling it. Do what Toyota does where they vent air conditioned air from the cabin through the battery to cool it. Do something to offset some of that heat because this isn't just bad for the owners of these new Nissan Leafs. This is bad for the entire EV community. We're struggling right now to convince new people to adopt electric vehicles and one of the holdups is charging speed. That's a really low rate, that's really slow, and it's enough to actually make people not want to buy EVs, to not want to uh, buy into them as an option. And so, so Nissan is hurting not just their customers, but they're also hurting the, the optics for electric vehicle owners. So I'm interested in what you think about this because I think it's a really negative thing that Nissan has done. I'm not sure that they should be sued for false advertisement, but maybe they should. They they should compensate these owners in some way because really they they have uh they have misrepresented the capabilities of their vehicle. So if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and as always, thank you for watching.